EDM. After the strategies, tactics. The EDM Steering Committee thanks each of you for your participation with this unique group. In six months since we formally became our own group, we've introduced some methods that can be used in an emergency situation where amateur radio is the only stable communication, when all else fails. In the last training video, we presented the MCOM Direct Messaging Vision. It is why we are out here together learning P2P operations. This is our strategy. Look on the YouTube MCOM Direct Messaging for that vision video. Today I would like to talk about our tactics in carrying out that strategy. It can be thought of in two words, training and implement. Training is what EDM does as part of the core activity. As we continue to build up our capabilities as a team, it is done with training ahead of each event. Training is done by executing what was covered. Sometimes the training is focused on a specific topic. Sometimes a complete review of all that has been done before. The EDM Steering Committee is always looking for our next event and how each one fits into our overall purpose. In the first months of 2023, we produced some training videos. There were two exercises from them. The focus was on some of the mechanics and the operation of the features in VAR AC so we would be comfortable with them. Of course, there's familiarity with the VAR HF modem. We have teams. Currently, there are four teams. They're used to help us coordinate the exercise. We usually have a team to be the target stations for each event, and then everyone else is a field station participating in the event, contacting a target station. This gives everyone an opportunity to be involved. Not every event will be exactly like that, but every event is designed for all to be involved. Each of us then can take the information from a video or exercise instructions and put it all into action. It allows each of us to be comfortable operating in the P2P environment. As we move forward, we all develop a more complete mindset of how to make it work for ourselves. Our next tactic is implement. Now, we as a group have indeed worked the training information provided to do an exercise. Implement is designed to be what you do at home. In our vision video, we explain we want each of us to take what we learn here to bring it to any and all the agencies you work with where you live. EDM has now developed a solid base of practices and procedures for each of us to bring home. We plan to implement further as we go forward. Even today, you can start developing plans for your community. We offer you two basic items to start working with. First is your emergency operations plan. Ensure there is a part where, when all else fails. The second basic item for that is the ICS-205 form. If you have not considered bringing the P2P capability to your local plans, we highly recommend doing so. In risk management, there are two columns, potential and impact. Potential is how likely the risk is to be manifested. Impact is what will happen if that risk is manifested. So losing electrical power everywhere for a long period of time is a low, low possibility. But if it does happen, a high impact there are many concerns and problems to be concerned with. There is no one right way to do it. Work with your served agency. I live in a rural community. The needs here are completely different from the crowded suburban area where I used to live or where I worked in a major city. Here is a grid map of the United States. Imagine a large swath of a color going dark for a long period of time. That is the type of situation that we plan for. Don't forget to make WinLink HF and FM part of your planning as well. Now, a third tactic that is not unique to EDM. It is a mutual support for one another. It is not just the steering committee who can help. All of our members can help. A great way to gain the experience for all of our members can be with a message to the groups.io, presenting your local scenario and asking for ideas. Or technical questions about equipment or connecting to a station can also be done. And there's now a new chat feature, and that was recently started, so look into that. This is all part of a multi-tiered information flow, from the steering committee out to the team. Messages in groups.io during an exercise. Informal, after action, and lessons learned after exercises as messages. Surveys after each exercise will be done, and Zoom sessions with the entire team will be done from time to time. This allows each of you to speak back to the steering committee. We now have shown two levels of working out the vision of EDM into a strategy for the team as a whole, and for each operator working the strategy into their local environment, our vision to train and implement, and the continual support with each other. 
This is done at a very high level with financial support to those who contribute to bring in all the features of groups.io in for us. We thank them for their generosity. Thank you for being with us. We look forward to keep working with you, and we look forward to the next time we get together. Have yourself a great day.